Hi, I would like to discuss making a shortcut for a text file in Linux Mint. Uh, the first time I did this, it was a little different than Windows, and it took me a little while to figure it out. And I thought maybe I would make it easier for somebody else that's trying to do it. Uh, first, we'll let you look. We're going to try to make one for disk space, disk space, and we'll show you this text file we're going to display it we're going to this i'm using the gnome text editor i'll just use the standard one when we make the text file that comes with linux mint i don't know what the proper name is but it's xcd and uh if you want to make this print bigger by the way you can hit Control shift and plus and every time you hit it it'll get a little larger up to a point of course I guess and then if you want to make it smaller you can hit uh, control and dash and make it smaller again but uh, let's try to make a shortcut that'll show this text file right here we're going to close this out. What we're going to do is go over here on our desktop. We're going to right click and we're going to put create a new launcher here. Okay, create a new launcher. We've chose that. Okay, we're going to call this disk. Space info that'll be our name uh, the command you can either type in if you know where it is right here but we're going to pretend we don't know where it's at so we're going to choose browse and we're going to choose documents we're going to find it here and right there it is disk space defined we're going to choose OK. OK, that puts that much in the in the browser. We've got to do more to this before we run it. And I'll show you what I'm talking about here in a minute. I, I will take this back and forth so you can see it. There it is. This space define period txt. There's the path that it runs in uh, now if we close this and we choose OK would you like this to be added to the menu no I don't because I'm just doing this for informational purposes here's our little icon and our little shortcut it's pretty neat but if we click on it it does not work because it's going to it but I don't know what to run it with. So we're going to rewrite click on it. We're going to rehit properties. And we're going to go up to the command line right here. Right here in front of it. We're going to click to get the cursor flashing. We are going to put in XED for the text editor and put one space between that and the uh, path in the name of the file and then we're going to hit close okay now then we're going to see it should open it we're going to see if it opens it and there it is it does open it and it opens it with the editor I've chosen XED there it is now, if we want to make an icon, uh, you don't really want to stick with the little rocket that's on there. You can right click, choose properties, click on the icon, and you can use any of these that's offered here. Like, uh, let's say, I don't know. We'll just choose one here.
we'll see we'll put in we'll see if it gives us a disc don't really give us a disc does it yeah we'll use one of these right here just f just for fun we'll use we'll use this right here oh here it is here's a nice little disc we'll use that and we'll select and there it is this space to find now has a neat little old-fashioned three and a half floppy disk as an icon and it still opens let's say you want to customize it you can right click go down and hit properties click on the icon and hit browse instead hit browse and there you can go to pictures or anything else that you want and a lot of times Linux lets you use a full picture. Uh, I'm going to go to pictures. And uh, I don't know. Let's, let's try a Linux wallpaper. Just for the fun of it. Let's just try one and see what happens. Uh, let's try a uh, JPG. And we're going to hit open. Now you got to select it. Hit that. And select and there it is and close see it lets you use that whole whole wallpaper for a for an icon but we don't need this we're going to delete it hope that you found that interesting and helped a little bit thank you for watching and uh, you have a good day and we'll see you in the next video bye